by Ray Leonard's return, Rome decided he'd give it a try once again. Eves in the blue. Joey Rome gets the heel on the head. Good combination left, right. Jerry Rome can do it all. He can do it all with both legs, with both hands. Rome started his karate career back in 69. Eves starting it in 79. Remember, Jerry Rome comes from the Sam Chapman Karate School in Greenville, South Carolina, moved to Atlanta and trained with Asa Gordon. An interesting feel out round here in round number one. Jerry Rome not hesitating to go on the attack. Eve said he hadn't seen Rome fight. He had no reason to be intimidated. He has a lot of reasons probably by now to feel a little less confident. Well, in the gym, I couldn't believe how hard Rome was popping the heavy bag. Closes the distance with a left hook very quickly followed with a right hand. Rome, a good counter move that time. Beautiful slapping left hook. Those were the same kinds of left hooks that knocked Ross Scott down. Most people will tell you do not hook with just your arm. Jerry Rome knocks you down with him. And a left jab and a left hook as we near the end of round number one. Eves going on the attack, got kicked and punched hard. It looked like he caught something in his eye and he goes down. Eves is disturbed that he didn't have a chance to clear away from uh, something that hit his eye earlier. What irony. Because Jerry Rome just took complete advantage of it like any fighter in a PKA ring would do. Yes, irony is correct. After Rome comes back from eye surgery. Rome is such an outstanding kicker as well as a devastating puncher. Would you ever forget that spin wheel kick against Dave Rupert? who was six foot eight, and it was in a first round knockout way back in the 70s. Big John Jackson fought Jerry Rome for the U.S. heavyweight title once again before there was a super heavyweight division. He still talks to this day about being kicked in the face by somebody seven inches shorter than he was. Great flexibility, Jerry Rome, and also kicks with power. You gotta hand it to Eve, standing right in there. He's really a game fighter, making his way up the ranks as well. He's the honorable mention category of a super heavyweight division. Scott Eves really afraid to commit himself except with a big power shot. Rome going out after his opponent here in the second round of action. Eves having trouble catching up with Rome and that's when Rome takes advantage of him. Nearing the end of the second round from the Waverly Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. It's our pleasure to uh, once again officially introduce, uh, he's got a chance to talk back now, the heavyweight champion of the PKA world, Brad Hefton. And Brad, after your exhibition with Mick Luckhurst, we'd like you to talk about this terrific comeback of Jerry Rome, obviously in terrific shape, Brad. Yes, he is. Jerry puts the hands and feet together really good. And, uh... I've seen him fight Ross Scott uh, about three rounds, and uh, as you've seen at the first telecast there at the beginning of the show, he's got a good left hook. He's used the front leg hook kick effectively. He's used the front leg side kick effectively, and he's really mixed up his techniques on William Eves. That's what a lot of fighters have not done in karate. How do you have it unofficially scored, Joe? I've got uh, Rome leading by two points, 20 to 18, winning each of the first two rounds, 10 to 9. I probably was generous to Eves in the second round. Good left hand that time by Rome, as Eves kind of uh, dips into it a little bit. Spinning kick landed. Irritated Eves. Look at the quickness, the foot speed of Rome as he gets out of the way of the slower kicks. Left hook. 
Asa Gordon saying to Rome, come in and get him. Rome, cautious, wise defensively, breezes another kick off of Ease's chin. There was no question when I saw Jerry Rome in the gym this week that he had it. I had not seen him work out for eight years. Oh, it was a combination right, left, right, and the second right putting him down with 29 seconds left in the third round. Brad. Brad Hefton. That was a good uh, left, right. Uh, I think uh, Jerry puts his hands and feet together really good. He's got good stretch. Right hand that landed on Eves. Excellent timing by Jerry Rome. I've never seen anybody throw a hook kick really off the front leg and do damage like Jerry Rome does. Gets a lot of short power involved as he near the end of the round. There's the bell from the Waverly in Atlanta. Jerry Rome and his comeback try has taken the momentum of this fight as the bell sounds and more live action from the Waverly in Atlanta. This is replay action right now as we see the knockdown in the previous round. Rome attacking. Target. What about the accuracy of Jerry Rome punches Brad Hefton? That's uh, very good accuracy on those hands and feet put together. That's he's a very good fighter. The key to accuracy, of course, is very little wasted motion. Warning for holding Eves hit Rome with a solid right hand coming in. Now we'll see how Rome reacts to it. He really has not been hit solidly before. Eves putting that front kick out to ward the aggressor off. Rome sizing things up now. Round number four, Jerry Rome. Slowing the pace down now. After gaining the entire momentum of this fight. Eves. Moving just out of the range. But look out for that little short left hook. Coming in on the front foot as Brad Hefton so accurately pointed out. Eves putting the jab out. Puts the front kick out. Spinning kick. Nice jab that time, the left jab. Eves leaning in. Eves is not marked despite the onslaught of punches and kicks by Rome. We'll be back to the Waverly in Atlanta, Georgia. Eves and Rome. Rome is back to us. He gets that heel kick in once again. Good power that time from the front kick from Eves. Eves is extremely gained. This is just the right opponent for Jerry Rome, a guy who was not intimidated who can stand the kind of punishment that Jerry Rome dished out. Rome with technique, but nothing landed. Eves covering up very well. Jerry Rome has thrown 66 kicks in four rounds, over 16 kicks per round. I think we got the cobwebs out of that microphone, Brad. I, think I like the way he, he sort of fakes with that. It looks like he's gonna throw a side kick and he throws a hook kick. And uh, I think Eves is really uh... devastating right and then a left right. Eves is in trouble once again here with the fifth round. You yes, can Brent. see a little rust on uh, Jerry Rome. Uh, his punches are not completely on target like they once were, but uh, what can you expect after six years? Brad, could you imagine somebody could come back in his first fight after six years this That's, effectively? I give him all the credit in the world for coming back. It uh, doesn't look like his eyes bother him to me one bit. He's not really afraid of it one bit, it looks like to me. He told me he, before the fight that he's in the best shape that he's ever been in a right hand, puts Eves down, a devastating left right. He said that when he was in his 20s, he took his ability for granted, but now he's working seven days a week. 20 seconds remaining in the fifth round. Bill Clark, the referee, checking out William Eves as Jerry Rome goes in for the kill. Left right again, puts Eves down hard. Puts that left right in there really good. Eves seemingly covering up well, but uh, nice foot movement by Jerry Rome laterally. Got the angle on the punch. There's the bell that ends the round. 
And Bill Clark stopped the fight at the same just one and a half seconds before the bell. Joe, that was one of those historic bouts.